How's it going today, everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Um, so Taurus, I'm getting ready to do July monthly readings for you guys. I'll be doing a general reading. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to your July monthly reading. So I'm using the Starman Tarot card deck. It's going to be a general reading, you guys. I'm going to do a combination of Starman and Gilded Tarot for you guys. So I got a new camera app that would allow me to um, record on landscape and upload videos on landscape, but every time I look at the camera, it looks like I'm looking up and away. So it's kind of like weird for me. So um, I don't think it'll allow me to make like eye contact with you guys, which I find a little strange. So let me know what you think because it's freaking me out a little bit to be quite honest. So anyway, that's my story. Hope you guys are doing awesome. See, every time I look up, I'm like, where am I looking? Right over into the corner and I'm looking straight at the camera. So it's odd. But anyway, uh, I'm here to do a reading. So let's keep going. All right, so I'm going to start pulling cards here for you, Taurus. Oh, the first card I have for you is the Chariot card. And this is a pretty awesome card, I must say. This is um, having the ability to move yourself forward, like with the sweeping change, using your own energy to move you into the next phase of your life, like clearing out old stagnant energy for you. I don't do reversals, so even if I pull the card upside down, I'm not going to use it that way because I, I'm going to get a vibe off the card really no matter what position it's in. So I've got the, the death card here for you. And the death card is just signifying the end of an era for you. I think a lot of people get freaked out by the death card. They're like, oh my God, you know. Who's going to die? And that's not what this card is about. I don't read like that anyway. So don't be disconcerted when you see kind of scary looking cards in a tarot card reading because they don't always mean what they look like they should mean. Um, something's coming to an end. And for some of you, it's going to be actually like a sigh of relief. Like, oh, I'm glad that's over. You know what I'm saying? So this is pretty interesting here, guys. So we've got the Four of Wands here. <clears throat> this is the indication of having worked through something and done a really good job and being able to celebrate. For some of you, it could even be like a um, an upcoming wedding or some sort of celebration. Having things to celebrate. Pretty cool cards right away, you guys. And we've got Temperance. This is like, this card is just absolutely mind blowing when you look at the artwork. So it's temperance. This card is saying like, remember that you are the connection between heaven and earth. And by staying calm, you can attract anything to you that you want. Um, temperance is a reminder to, to view everything with a sense of clarity and, and to some extent, detachment when we put a certain amount of emotions into things especially if they're negative emotions can be really repellent to the law of attraction um, and sort of block you you know that phrase where people say get out of your own way that's what they're talking about that sort of negative or down energy feeling sad those are all really low level energies for you so temperance is saying just to get in touch with higher level energies for you so I'm gonna change the camera angle down towards the cards so just one sec okay Taurus so we're back I've got your starman tarot cards laid out here we discussed them a little bit I have the gilded tarot here in my hands the first thing I want to have a look at is the death card here and you know the it looks like we should go in order, but sometimes certain cards speak to me more than others. And I've got the death card, um, I don't want to say calling my name, you know, because that sounds like, you know, 
um, a scary movie. So let's see what's going on with this death card, which I think is actually just absolutely stunning in the, the way it's colored in and just amazing artwork. Um, this is the deck that was inspired by David Bowie and he actually collaborated on the deck. So you're going to see him a little bit in the cards. Hmm. So you've got the death card, but then you've got the seven of pentacles. And then with the chariot over here, it's like, there's a certain energy going to be leaving your life and it's going to have to do with your abundance to how you feel about it. I think there's a really negative presence in your life right now. And it could be your own presence. It could be something that you need to deal with. It could be somebody else in your life kind of casting a shadow that person could be exiting your life. For some of you, I think this person is actually in your workplace. And they've been holding you down. You know what I'm saying? They're like the day that this person would call in sick is the day that you would like breathe a sigh of relief. And if, if you're having to deal with that every single day, no matter what your um, mindset is, it can be very taxing and sort of bring you down um, emotionally. And, you know, it's sort of like you're, you're waging a war the whole time you're there, like working with this person and thinking, oh, just stay calm. It doesn't matter, you know, um, coaching yourself and then going home and kind of replaying incidents. Um, like mini run-ins that you've had with this person and um, really bringing you down. And I think for some of you, this person could even be like falsely, like putting you down to your superiors, but it looks like they're moving on. And then it's going to allow you to bloom. Very interesting. And then it looks like your energy could change as a result of this. Maybe they're not leaving you know, the place that you work for, your employer. Maybe they're just moving into a different department. Or if it's like somebody that's connected to you in a different way, um, they could be moving to another region or they could just be dropping you as a friend. And, you know, it, it could be just whatever it is. It's, I think there's somebody toxic exiting your life and it's going to allow you to become more yourself. And then you'll be able to take all this energy that you were putting into defending yourself and nobody was seeing this really, you know, it was just you. And I felt, I feel like you feel like you were unsupported by people in general and your superiors specifically. And if it's a family issue, it's like nobody else in your family was seeing this. Oh, you're just putting too much into it or you know, you're just not feeling supported, so, which is not cool. What's going on with the chariot card? Beautiful. Wow. So, ace of pentacles. Again, related to material wealth, as in the seven of pentacles. You know, your finances, something coming in for you. And this is going to be as a result of you being able to breathe and relax and be who you truly are and your star will shine right it's going to be like you can just exhale after i think for some of you like years of being in this toxic environment where you just you don't even feel like you anymore you feel like some subdued sort of exhausted version of yourself Let's see what's going on with the temperance card here for you. Nice. Got the strength card. You have definitely been walking in this silent path of strength. Um, I really just am seeing here that nobody understands how difficult this has been for you. And you've really had to dig deep so you can get up and go to this environment where this toxic person is just making everything sort of 
like basically a living hell for you. And then you have that added insult of nobody believing you. So you stopped telling anybody because all it did was make you look worse. And that's not what you wanted. You've been incredibly strong here. You've been silencing yourself in a way that, <clears throat> in my opinion, you shouldn't have to. Because there's, for some reason, really toxic people, they have a way of looking, of making their victim, and in this scenario, I believe that is you, they make their victim look like <clears throat> they are the instigator in everything. So you've been just caught in this energy of despair, but you're doing it for your own best interest because like I seriously don't think anybody else has been looking for your best interest but you are you've never given up on yourself and then the thing that you did for you is you never let yourself believe the things that this person is trying to have you believe right Let's see what the Four of Wands is. I didn't like on purpose leave this behind until the last because everything else was kind of talking to me. Um, because if you look at every posture on these cards here, it's more direct and in your face. And now the Four of Wands is that celebration card. Um, it's like you're being able to walk away from toxicity. So I've got the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords, this has been a long time coming for you. The Page of Swords is a message, you know, about how your thoughts and to some extent your feelings, you know, um, and also represents air. So I believe the air around you has been difficult for you to breathe. And it's all been down to one person um, influencing your daily existence in a way that you had no control over. But that control is coming back simply because that person is exiting your life and it's going to allow you to come into your own and you will be celebrating this but um cautionary um warning like don't celebrate too elaborately because people will um <clears throat> think that you're a bad sport for some of you this person could be getting terminated somebody could finally notice how awful this person is, you know, um, and I, I, I'm a believer in sort of letting things unfold as they are meant to be. And I believe that is what you guys have been doing too. You're like, okay, you know, I think for some of you, you've tried to draw this to people's attention, but you really were shushed, like stop being so dramatic, you know, um, because people that are gaslighters like this, they really, they, they are split in their personalities with how they treat other people and then they choose a victim. And this was you. It's almost over, you guys. Like, if it hasn't ended already, this will be ending. And it'll be something that they're choosing to do so you won't even have to deal with it. <clears throat> so, I just want to pull one more card for you guys because I feel like this was really intense. So, I really think with the emperor here, that you have been incredibly and deeply wise and doing things as they should be, even though I think you paid an immense personal price to do this. Um, you have risen above, you've taken the high road, you've used, in your, used your intellect where you've needed to and left emotion out of it, but when you got home, you were very, very drained here, very drained. And I think you relied a little bit on your spirituality and some of you could have had a couple of really close friends that supported you in this um but not many of you so guys this situation is almost over you just continue to hold your head up high like be that emperor with that energy i don't know what's going on with my voice right now so i apologize for that um <clears throat> sorry um but yeah your toxic story is just about to end for you guys so hang on a little bit longer so guys, I'm going to wrap up the reading for now and we'll see you back next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.